Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosalier. I want to do another video today about uh, Reddit search operators. So Reddit search operators, I did one a few months ago about a couple of them and I said I wanted to keep it short so I only did one or two. And for the purposes of uh, completion, I want to do another video going through more of them because these are actually really, really useful if you are using Reddit for yourself or for work or you want to see what people are writing about your business on Reddit, let's say. And that's what I think is one of the most useful things about Reddit relative to other major social networks is that Reddit is in the vast majority of its content is social discourse on the open web, sometimes called the clear web. If you compare Reddit to let's say Facebook where you have a lot of private Facebook groups, those are technically deep web. They're beyond the reach of uh, search bots because they are closed communities or not indexed. Sometimes you have other fora in which webmasters will configure a disallow bot access in the uh, robots.txt. So that's why Reddit has become kind of, is often used by researchers uh, as a kind of surrogate for social conversation on the internet because it's really, really easy uh, compared to many other social networks at least to find telegram groups in the same, uh, same category there. So um, there is, Reddit does have its own search language. Now, one way that you can search through Reddit posts, I've just, I started this video, then I just kind of aborted it. So these are some things I was uh, using to demonstrate, but let's, uh, let's say I was using Google you know, you can use site reddit.com and your search query that will work, but you're probably going to have better results by actually searching within Reddit using the Reddit search operators. Now, where you'll find these documented, it's reddit.com forward slash wiki uh, forward slash search. Um, and I went through one or two of these, as I said, the last day. And for this video, I want to go through a few more before I do. I just want to break down uh, what you, what you can use. So firstly, you have the field search operators and uh, I'm going to spend the majority of this video talking about these. Then you have Boolean operators. Reddit actually supports three Boolean operators. Now Boolean, I must pause here to say these are named after uh, George Boole, who was a professor of mathematics at uh, Queens College, now University College Cork, which is where I went for my undergraduate. Uh, so Boolean operators are used in uh, Google searches, but you can also actually use them. They're supported within Reddit's language. Uh, so you've got and, or, or not, and Reddit just points out here that they're going to be deprecating and uh, pipe and minus in the near future. So just as an FYI, they want you to be using these. So that makes it possible to combine different things. So let's say I wanted to do author uh, Daniel Rosal or author Daniel123, uh, let's say, right? So this would return any post either by this Reddit user or by this Reddit user. Now, just in case anyone watching this hasn't signed up for Reddit and doesn't use Reddit, Reddit, when, when you create a Reddit account, you pick a username and then you're going to get a uh, URL that looks a bit like this, reddit.com forward slash you forward slash whatever your username is. A subreddit's going to look like this. Uh, it's got R in the middle, so user has you. So whatever comes after this, that is your username. And these field search operators are case sensitive. That's important to uh, just to note as well. So you wanna make sure that if you use a capital D, you remember that when you're doing these, etc. So I'm just gonna go through some of the useful ones. Firstly, author is really useful. If you're trying to track a certain Redditor, and I don't mean this in kind of a creepy way, or you're trying to see what a Reddit account posted in a forum, then you could easily combine those two operators. So let's say, trying to think of a subreddit I, uh, that I use, I use posting quite a lot of subreddits, but let's say uh, subreddit sys admin. Now we have a query ready to go there. If I've ever posted uh, in the subreddit called sys admin, and I chose that because I'm gonna just kind of roll with that for a couple of examples here, uh, then I can just put this in like this and go like this and hit return. And if everything goes good, here we go. So I posted two threads over the course of my Reddit career in sysadmin. I'm gonna actually just go into it because I want to, I want to use it for uh, just to demonstrate one other flair. So it's a pretty big subreddit, 656,000 members um, in it. So, that was the author operator. So just to reiterate there, it's author, username, and you can use and, or, and not in combination with that. The next one is Flare. So Flare in Reddit is used to basically organize, if you have a big subreddit, that's why I wanted to 
uh, keep a tab open for sysadmin. Uh, the moderators of the Reddit can configure what are called flares. So flares are used to basically organize, if you've got a big subreddit like sysadmin and uh, there's a lot of posts going in there and you want some way for people interested in a particular subtopic to search through the posts, the mods or the moderators will configure flares. Now sometimes the flares are not publicly visible and other times they are. Uh, so you might be able to see all the flares that are actually there. But if we take uh, this subreddit sysadmin, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six different flares. Now what, watch what happens when I click on a flare, let's say in this case, rant. So if we look at the URL structure here, something has changed uh, after sysadmin, it's added this, uh, this highlighted text here, uh, question mark, uh, uh, hyphen, I'm forgetting all these, all, these, uh, all these characters, F equals flare underscore name, um, and uh, equals uh, rant. Um, and, uh, and uh, double quotation marks as well. Okay, so that's how we can use a flare operator. So in this case, it's flare rant. So I'm just gonna keep this here as well. And because it's case sensitive, I'm just making sure I'm preserving that capital R. Um, another one is NSFW, which stands for not safe for work. So kind of uh, racier content on Reddit. Uh, it, has, um, uh, it has one and zero and yes or no. So you can use either one is yes and zero is no. So I can do NSFW zero to, to indicate no. Um, self for text submissions, um, no, otherwise one and zero also supported. Uh, so self, yes. Now that's only going to bring back text submissions and I can do, I'm just gonna keep these all on the clipboard here, self, no, and we're gonna combine these with different operators. Site is really useful if you're doing brand monitoring on Reddit. So uh, you do site and you can have either a URL or you can even actually have a, a URL, you know, you can either have a base domain or you can have an actual full URL. So let's just, let's pick up uh, Forbes.com and let's just run that through the search. Subreddit, this is really, really useful. So this will limit your searches to a particular subreddit. And again, it's case sensitive. So let's go for sysadmin here. Uh, it is capitalized in the title and not in the actual subreddit. So be cognizant and make sure you're using the right things. Um, and uh, that is basically it. Search results are limited to 1000 results. Search terms may be stemmed. So a search for dogs may return results with the word dog in them. And these three Boolean operators are and or not. And you can also use parentheses to group parts of a search together. The example Reddit gives here is hedgehogs or porcupines, not Sonic. So uh, let's now combine these into a few different uh, practices. So let's say I wanted to only find uh, the sysadmin posts on Reddit. So um, Reddit is going to be, subreddit's gonna be sysadmin. And for Flare, we're going to do rants. Sorry, this is only looking for rants, right? So I'm just gonna copy that here, put this in here. And from anywhere on Reddit, I just jumped to only the posts in sysadmin. Uh, that have rant as the flare and I can sort by relevance, hot, top, new, just as if I was uh, using Reddit regularly of the same search options. Um, so that's really, really cool. So let's do um, another combination. Let's say, uh, for instance, let's just use this one, siteforbes.com. And now what you're gonna see is it's going to be all the posts that have referenced uh, Forbes.com and Reddit. So because that's a pretty big website, that's why I chose it. If I click on new, we should start to see pretty significant uh, traffic. So we can see 48 minutes ago, one hour ago, one hour ago, there's a lot of Redditors sharing Forbes links. And if I did like medium.com or something like that, uh, it would be quick as well. Now, if I go into sysadmin, that's subreddit. So let's just take the last guy you posted here. And I'm gonna just wrap up with this just to show uh, one of the Boolean operators. So the world of good. So if I wanted to do something like this, subreddit is going to be sysadmin and we can use parentheses for this part of the query. Author is going to be me or it's going to be the world of good. And we don't want uh, not safe for work post. So NSFW set to zero. Now what I can do is just grab this put it into the, and there we go. So now what we're seeing is results posts that are either by this Reddit user, the world of good, 
my posts are going to be in there here so you can see this is me at the bottom this is a world of good here um, and we can search by new and I'm not sure there's a limit to how many times uh, how much you can batch queries into one uh, into one query if that made any sense like if I could use a bunch of different usernames so this is just an, another as another example here if I wanted to see who was sharing my medium post on reddit I could just type my medium handle like this into the search bar and it will return uh, that and I could do again you know not author to exclude uh, posts I was sharing and actually see what other people uh, were sharing my posts on Reddit. Um, and that is, those are the majority of the useful search operators. So again, if you want to find them, it's reddit.com forward slash wiki uh, forward slash search. And whether you are doing brand monitoring or you're a Reddit power user, or you just want to uh, narrow down a search query, i.e. you know uh, you want to see what some Redditor or Redditors posted in a certain subreddit, that were text posts that were not not safe for work then uh, using one of those queries you can easily build out a query put that into reddit and get the results hope that video is useful thank you for watching and feel free to subscribe to this youtube channel to get more videos